Hey guys, welcome back to our course of Spring Batch and Spring Batch Integration. Today we are going to talk about Spring Batch Kafka Item Writer. So if you remember guys, you can always consult the list of item readers and item writers. As I was telling you guys, today our focus will be Spring Batch Item Writer. So as you can see, Spring Batch, the Spring Batch project, we can have also Kafka Item Writer, which we are going to use to write our items into Kafka, okay? So you can take your time and read a little bit more documentation. Just a quick reminder, this is not a course of Kafka itself. So I'm supposing that you already have some basic or advanced knowledge with Kafka so that you can feel yourself comfortable to work with Kafka. So let's go to our code. So guys, for this course, we are going to use a Docker file, okay, Docker Compose in this case. So I will, I will share with you guys my Docker Compose so you can use to test uh, this tutorial. Or maybe you have already Kafka um, and the Docker installed uh, on your machine. So it's not a big deal, right? So you have for, for this course, you're gonna have uh, the Docker on your machine. You're gonna have this Docker uh, compose file. Okay, so uh, this is only the Zookeeper, the Kafka itself, okay? Uh, schema registry. Uh, the only thing here that we are going to use that maybe you don't know is the AKHQ, which is a very nice Kafka uh, graphical UI where you can see your topics, okay, uh, that you create for Kafka, the schema registry and the consumer groups and all of the, the, the stuffs, okay. So you can just use the AKHQ in order to, to see what's going on on your Kafka environment. So I will share with you guys the Docker Compose itself. You just need to have um, Kafka on your machine, okay? The Docker Compose will be in this project here. So you can have and take the advantage of the pre-configured uh, 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 Docker uh, Compose file. So for this course, the first thing that we are going to do is to add the dependency of Kafka. Remember, Spring Batch already has some Kafka readers and writers, but we need um, the Kafka template and in order to, to use it, okay, with Spring Batch. This one, the dependency, let's just copy the dependency and let's add into our POM XML. All right, so the first thing that we have to do in order to use the Kafka item writer is to create the same way that we create here. We are using here JPA item writer. We need to create the Kafka item writer. So let's do that, Kafka item writer. So it's going to receive sales info because this is the object that we are going to send this is the representation of the object that we are going to send into our Kafka. So let's just call it by sales info Kafka item writer. Okay, it's complaining because it needs Kafka item writer. It needs a key. Let's just see here. Yes, it needs a key and the value itself for for those who knows and understand Kafka knows what the key means. So for our use case, let's just keep it simple. So the key going to be a string. You can use a long integer, any other kind of uh, data type. Uh, the, the first thing that we are going to do is to instantiate our Kafka item writer. Okay, so in that order, let's just call it by Kafka item writer. It's going to be Let's instantiate uh, the key will be a string and the value going to be our sales info. So for now, in this case, let's just return it. And now let's start setting some properties. Uh, for example, 
um, the, the first thing that we, we can set here is item key mapper. So the item key mapper, uh, it receives, if we just do this like this, it's gonna receive as we are, we are using this object as value, it's going to uh, need any representation of this uh, our object in order to convert it uh, in order to map uh, our uh, I don't know some property okay into our key so what's going to be our key for example for example in this case let's just use the seller ID okay so let's go back here and let's just say like okay source maybe not source but let's call it by sale info and here let's call sale info dot seller id and it's complaining because it's an integer so we can convert it uh, to a string okay let's just cut these out and let's start string value of this one so uh, for those who understand the concept of uh, lambda expression, functional programming with Java, we know that we can just transform it into lambda expression. So the second property that we are going to use here, uh, it's going to be, uh, maybe let's just put set delete. Let's put it by uh, false. If we can see, set the delete flag to have the item writer perform deletes. So, uh, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, maybe, okay, let's just put the set, okay, after property set, it's going to throw an exception. So, as you know, we like to always, uh, like, using the Lombok sneaky throws. So, let's create it as a bin also. And the very important thing that we need, that's why we add the dependency of Kafka is the Kafka template, Kafka template itself. So we are going to have a key as a string and a value, a sales info. So let's just call it by um, sales info Kafka template. So after that, we can go back here into our sales info Kafka item writer and set the Kafka template. So this is the, the, the easy uh, way to create our Kafka item writer. Maybe the next thing that we are going to do here is Kafka needs to serialize your object, even uh, uh, sales info. We, we need to indicate, we need to, to tell Kafka, okay, Kafka, you have to serialize this object for example, as a string or as a JSON, as uh, uh, Avro, uh, anything that, that, that you want. So in that order, let's go here to our application property and let's um, use the follow property. So this is the value. Now let's create the, the same for the key serializer. It's going to be or that Apache Kafka common serialization that uh, as we have here our key okay our key here is a string and also maybe the next thing that we are going to do here is just to give the indication for Kafka in order to trust the packages or maybe we don't need it uh, but let's just uh, leave it like that and the other thing for those uh, who knows Kafka we need a topic Okay, a topic to send our message, okay? Because the Kafka template itself needs a topic. We could just go here and tell, for example, uh, sales info Kafka template that set default topic here, but it's very bad idea to set it here, okay? So we can just keep uh, setting them all the property here. So for example, here, let's call our topic by sales info going to be our default topic. So the topic that we are going to use for this Kafka template. So after that, we, we could just call here in our uh, step, okay? In our step, the step name is from file into database. Uh, 
for just in term let's, let's just put it uh, from file into kafka okay we are renaming our step so instead of using let's go here we are using uh, a sync item writer we are delegating our out uh, sales info item writer this is the one that we used to you uh, we we were using to persist into database we don't need it anymore okay so we are just going to delegate the new one which one the sales info kafka item writer so this is the easiest way the easiest way okay to delegate our writer so this is the writer that we are going to to, to use here and also here intellij is complaining because we can also for example do here something very good refactoring yes oh can you see good you have to love the refactoring so uh, let's go back here and in our example we have here uh, this uh, we, 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 we were using it in order to test the, the lister in the previous example let's just comment it okay because we don't need anymore it to to let's call to, to throw any exception because it was just an example let's recap so we have here our uh, sales info Kafka template and the next thing that we did here was we create Kafka item writer which the key is a string the value is the sales info object itself and we uh, we, we just uh, set the Kafka template into our Kafka item writer then we set the key mapper so we are using the sales info seller ID okay as a key which is a string after that we use our uh, sales info Kafka item writer which is the Kafka item writer into okay our async uh, item writer if you are not using the async approach you can just go here in your step let's go here in your step and use it into our writer like as for example sales info kafka item writer here so it's complaining because here we are using the async mode okay but uh, for this use case let's just leave it here and the last thing that we did uh, we set the producer key serializer because Kafka uh, needs it, okay? And the value also as a, the key was a string serializer, the value was a JSON serializer. And we create the default topic, which is going to be uh, the, our topic that we are going to write uh, our, um, our sales info, our message into Kafka. So let's write our application see okay the application is up already let's go here in and let's see it's that info which is the name of our topic as you can see the topic doesn't exist yet you can use any other common uh, line tool in order to see your topic but this is the easy uh, very easy way okay to to use so let me just for example take any file here let me just for example this one i have to rename because if you are watching our tutorials you know that our spring batch application has the polar okay so it start processing uh, the file uh, once it it gets uh, any file okay and uh, now I'm going to send the file okay this file I just going to copy this file and put it here because our spring batch application is reading okay file here it's going to take let's see the application the application is reading the file okay and now let's check our sales info topic okay we can see here we are getting messages into kafka very easy okay as you can see as you can see the key 
okay? And the data itself, the value, as JSON. So guys, this is very easy way to process or to, to write data from your Spring Batch application into Kafka. Let's go back and let's check once again our topic. Okay, let's look for it. Sales, for example. Yeah, we still having um, data coming. You can see here, data is coming into Kafka. Very nice, very nice. So let's check once again. Too much data. Here we have data, here we have data. Going back to our application. This is very, very nice to play with Kafka and Spring Batch. As you can see, with very minimal effort, we, 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 we have created a Kafka item writer. Very easy, with few steps. So guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's see what we can get uh, in the next time so i hope you enjoy the video if you like put some like if you have some question put in your comment i'm open also for suggestions so thank you guys bye bye see you next time